So once we have all the variable information um, set up on our business card, we can send it to a Fiery server for production. So the uh, upper right-hand corner of your screen here, you see the blue Send to Fiery Server button. If you have already set up multiple Fiery servers, you will see them appear here. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose Fiery Color 2. And here you've got a couple options. If you have a server preset available that fits your job, it will show here and you can pick this so you don't have to do any manual settings uh, once the job gets to command workstation or you can just say apply default settings and um, it will go to the held queue and commands workstation. Here you've got some options. Um, the default is uh, process and hold, um, but I'm actually going to choose hold for this because I'm going to impose it. So you see all of these things, and then once it says successfully sent to the Fiery server, you can go check your job in Command Workstation. So when we open Command Workstation, we see that our business card job is here in the health queue, uh, businesscard.ffc, and we are going to go impose it. So you see impose open. And you see uh, here that we're just showing the record in page view. I'm actually going to change this to the thumbnail view so I can see my individual records. So you see the visual preview here. And I'm going to apply uh, a preset. So this is um, this sample job is very small. It has enough records to fit comfortably on a letter or A4 page. So I'm going to use that template. So here you see all of your personalized records uh, imposed in the layout of your choice. And uh, from here, I can save it. So I can save it as a .dbp, which is just like any other imposed job. I click yes. Goes back into the server. Here's my job, and it's ready to set the rest of my properties if needed and send for printing.